We are living in a um, culture to where um, the modern-day woman is feeling empowered that they can want to do whatever they want when they want, especially when they own a celebrity status. Sierra is no different from a, another average modern-day woman. Now, with, with that um, being said, the stuff right, um, Sierra's um, be behavior has been uh, very, very uh, disappointing uh, to me. And the reason why is because um, even though even though uh, Russell Wilson and a lot of us uh, men, uh, we call Russell Wilson a, a simp or a beta male simp, which he is. Let's be real about he is. But it's even more sad that Sierra, uh, you know, she she goes she goes around um she she had this whole narrative that 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 um she was praying to God for a husband and you know and finally after dealing with you know um the the one uh, dusties in, in her life um she was praying for a husband she ended up getting a, a Russell Wilson and she's encouraging women to do the same to pray and get you a husband that's similar to Russell Wilson but the one thing about it is that. Whenever a person pray for certain things, right, to my knowledge and understanding, you have to be prepared for the thing that you're praying for. Or you have to be prepared for the thing that you're eventually going to receive. Let's give an example to this, all right? Now, many people, a lot of us, uh, we uh, pray and we hope that we could be wealthy or we could be rich, um, right? It's one thing to pray for it. It's another thing to work towards it to achieve that that particular goal. But it's also another thing if you're not prepared for it. Once again, it's another thing when you're not prepared for it. I believe uh, when when we uh, say things like this, um, uh, we have uh, you know tunnel vision and stuff. On um, we may be per- prepared for it physically. We may work for it. But mentally and spiritually, we don't prepare ourselves for it at all. This is the reason why you uh, you see uh, people who become unwealthy or become rich or have a lot of money. Um, within uh, five years, they end up losing their money because they never prepare for it mentally. They they prepare for it um, in other ways, but they never prepare for it mentally. They never uh, did their homework to see what it takes to. Um, Keep it going, in other words. What work that you got to put into it to keep it going? They think that once when it happened, you know, you just kind of work the kinks out of it and it is going to be is what it is. That is not, people, that is not how life operates, especially in relationships. Especially in relationships. We tend to think that even in relationships that all we got to do is go and find someone who's quote-unquote compatible with us. We go find that person, and the rest, we just kind of work it out. No. That do not work. And in fact, this is the reason why the divorce rates is as high as well, preferably with women, because that's what women do all the time. They um, they go and pray for these type of men to come after after dealing with all these Dusty dudes, so they they um settle for the beta males. Now, if you've been following my content, uh, you know exactly the reason why I say that modern day women go for the beta males. But I I said again for y'all on this episode too, just in case you forgot. But normally, the reason why modern day women go after these old beta males or these beta male simps is for the simple fact that they want to have control of the relationship. Because they don't want to be hurt again. And so they believe the only way for them to not be hurt is to not fix themselves and work on themselves, but to find a replacement for it. So therefore, they go after these type of beta male men where they can manipulate and they could control them and they can um they allow them to be, you know, free as birds and do whatever the hell they want to do when they want. Case in point in the relationship with Russell Wilson and Sierra. 
Now, to be quite honest with y'all, I need to be real with y'all. Even though at the end of the day, I don't care about C, uh, Russell Wilson and Sierra's relationship. At the end of the day, I don't honestly respect their relationship because of how the way it is is operating. Case in point, this situation. Now, this this is not the only time Sierra has disrespected this man and decided to, you know, go to these different events partially nude or uh, go on Instagram, take these old thirst trap Instagram photos. It's not the only time she did because she constantly do that. And then that thing, too, is that uh, I'm, I'm just going to be honest. Um, Sierra, she's already over there wild, so therefore Sierra is way too damn old to be doing the stuff that she's doing now. She's way too old to do that. But for some reason, these modern-day women, they just feel so empowered that they're entitled that they should do these things. Now, I am a firm advocate of... um that a woman should be a living representative of her husband. I am a firm advocate that, that a husband will be a living representative of his wife. So when I look at um, um, this photo with her and Russell Wilson, then also when I look at this photo here that she does decide to take it a step further with this one, you know, showing, you know, this I just see her that's been totally disrespectful to this man. I see her as um saying that I got this dude. Now I can operate and do whatever the hell I want. Hell, I don't even know if um Russell Whistle got a prenup with her or not. I have no idea. But if he if he didn't get no prenup with Sierra, then mm mm. Because if that be the case, if if he had a prenup in place and stuff like that, then um, Sierra wouldn't be having this whole entitlement mentality like she like she be having, like the stuff she be doing. She wouldn't do it. Because let's be realistic as well too. What in the hell has Sierra been doing? She haven't really been putting out no no music. She haven't been been featuring to no shows or nothing like that. The one thing that she been featuring into is these different um rare corporate events where it's almost as though she's been a model. But other than that, what have she been doing to really um make money other than sitting on her current royalties that she been having with her music? What else has she been been doing? Nothing. She has been sitting on her husband, fame, and wealth. And so I don't see this thinking in, in her mind. She thinking that, um, yeah, I, I got this dude now, and then if he try to leave me, it's, to be honest with you, it's the same situation with Will and Jada at this point, where Jada could just say whatever the hell she want when she want. Jada Pickett could sit up here and um, disrespect Will Smith whenever she want to. For the simple fact that they so far invested in the relationship that she's feeling entitled. And that's what happened with these um, modern day women, especially celebrity modern day women. Is that they be feeling entitled for their um, they husbands and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Where they feel so entitled with their they husband that they just do whatever. And the sad part about this is that Women right now, they're gravitating towards this. They're looking at this and they're feeling empowered by this. Like, man, I can't wait till I get me a simp husband like on Russell Whistle so I could do whatever the hell I want to do too, too, just like Sierra. It's pretty much what, what they're saying. They're not looking for a husband who's going to want, who's going to want actually provide and protect and lead them like how the way they're supposed to be doing. No. They only want the one convenience of having having that um, dude where they can um, take advantage of his um his um financial gain that he got, his status that he got, why they could do whatever they want when they want. That's where it boils down to. And this is a situation with Sierra. And this is why she keeps constantly do, doing this. So 
Uh, to be honest with you, I don't feel sorry at all for Russell Wilson because um, all he did was sit up here and t- took him out of that woman and, and wife her up trying to and show her that there are better dudes. Normally, that's how these simps think, too, is that they're the captain saviors. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm better than future. I'm better than all these other dudes that you never dated, and I'm going to treat you like this, too. And that's what they do. And you just do whatever you want. I'll support you, baby. But I'm kind of curious, though. I'm kind of curious. What if um, Russell Wilson decides to want to do something different than football? What if he decides to retire from football, fully retire from football? And what if he decides to go on to an IG and do all these thirst trial videos on he get himself well in shape again? Um Take his shirt off and he wearing, you know, the wearing, you know, the um the thirst trap on spandex underwears that's going to gravitate women towards him. I wonder how will she feel about that? Would she be total supportive for that, or would she feel some type of way? What about the women that would that would enter into his um his DMs and stuff like that? How would she feel about that? Would she take a control of that situation? Call them women out. And ultimately tell him that, hey, you can't dress like that. Or will she accept it? But I know one thing, though. I know one thing. I know that um that she low-key is controlling how the way he dressed. Because, like, uh, I was scrolling some pictures and stuff. I have not seen really Russell Wilson um walk out with, without a shirt on unless they at a beach. And that's kind of far-fetched too because sometimes you be wearing, the t- most of the time you be wearing tank tops and stuff. So I really haven't seen Russell Wilson doing the same as that thing that she's doing because I believe that she's controlling him. She's controlling that narrative because he's a beta male. So, yeah, I don't respect women at all who does this, especially when they're married. I said this before, and I said this again, even in my marriage and stuff, you know what I'm saying? There ain't no way in the hell that my own wife will be coming out the house dressed like that unless we're going to the beach. That'll be the only exception to the rule is that we're going to the beach and she's wearing some type of bikini or whatever. Then that's acceptable. Or we're going to the pool or something like that. Then that's acceptable. Before us doing it as a fashion statement and, you know, thirst trap pictures, no. Mm Mm-mm. Not at all. Hell, Mr. Zerbin don't even have an IG account. So, y'all let me know what y'all think about this on review. Do y'all, do y'all agree with me on this or do y'all disagree? Uh, do, do you feel like on women should stay in power and they could do whatever the hell they want in, in their relationship and be disrespectful to their kings? Or do you think on Sierra is the straight out, out of line and somebody need to tell her about herself? Y'all let me know in the comments.